Praise the Lord, for His mercy endures forever. I greet you viewers in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You are welcome to our Sunday life service here at Well of Salvation. Read with me to the book of Daniel, chapter 10, verse 7. It reads as follows. And I, Daniel, alone saw the vision. For the men that were with me saw not the vision, but a great quaking fell upon them, so that they fled to hide themselves. This will lead us into the title of our today's message, My Vision. What do you do when everyone you look up to flees from you? What do you do when people you trusted start turning their backs on you? What do you do when people who promise to stand by you in the day of trouble? But when the day of trouble comes, they run away and hide themselves from helping you. What do you do? Daniel said, I alone saw the vision. I lost all of my strength because of the great vision I was seeing. Daniel remained on the ground after everyone has fled because he understood the vision. Your life earth may quake. Your marriage earth may quake. Your relationship earth may quake. Your business earth may quake. Your family earth may quake. Your job earth may quake. Your ground earth may quake. And everyone flees away from you. What do you do? Does your so-called the most reliable people flee? Make you flee from your vision. The very vision you alone have seen. Should you abort your dream because someone who promised to stand by you fled? Do you know that if people leave you, you can still achieve more without the crowd? God has promised he will never leave you, nor forsake you. He will be with you from the beginning of that vision until the end. Don't quit on what you have started in following your vision. The ground you are standing on may shake so much that you have no leg to stand. But God who gave you the vision will not cancel the vision. God who gave you the vision will be with you. I may not know what is quaking around you. I don't know what is shaking around you. I don't know what is pushing you. But I know if God gives you a vision that knocks you down like Daniel, he is going to give you a lifting up. It may be a financial knockdown. It may be a marriage knockdown. It may be a relationship knockdown. Or maybe a family knockdown. It may be a business knockdown. But for any reason, God allows it to happen. He is going to give you a lifting up. Daniel said, The hand of the Lord touched me. And the voice of the Lord said, Rise up. But for any reason, God allow you to be knocked down. He is getting ready to lift you up. It does not matter how long you've been on the ground. Daniel says, I have been on the ground for three weeks. If you knew all to do has been done and is still not good enough, stay where God will meet you. God says, arise and shine. The light has come. Daniel says, a hand touched me. And the voice said, get up, viewers. I encourage you to get up where you are knocked down. I encourage you to rise where you have fallen. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Have you been knocked down by sickness? I take authority of the Lord Jesus Christ against the sickness that knocked you down. I say, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. By the authority of Jesus Christ, Every knocking down, every pain, 
that has been caused by the quaking of your ground shall come to an end during this time of prayer. Whatever knockdown you have, the Lord is lifting you up today. In the name of Jesus Christ, every knockdown in any area of your life, receive a lifting up in the name of Jesus Christ. Every downfall in any area of your life, I say, be lifted up in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says, arise and shine. The light has come in Jesus' mighty name. Arise from bad health. Arise from bad business. Arise from bad life. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are free from suffering. You are free from knocking down. In Jesus' mighty name, you are strong. You will make it the vision that you alone have seen. The Lord is giving you a lifting up in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hand and receive a lifting up. And say after me, I am receiving a lifting up. I am receiving a rising up. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are free. Amen.